Marienburg is the largest and most prosperous trading city in the old world. Many call it the city of gold, which alone conveys a good idea of the wealth of this sprawling cosmopolitan city. Nowhere else can be found the vast array of shops selling goods from as far away as the elven kingdoms of Ulthuan in the west and the distant Cathay in the east. The city's craftsmen represent every skill known to man, and a few others beside, so that it is said in Marienburg there's no activity that cannot be quickly turned to profit. Many mercantile guilds have their headquarters in Marienburg, most important of all the secretive High Order of the Honorable Free Traders, which represent the elite among mercantile society. This large, rich, and ambitious body of men feel themselves shackled by the old order and are eager to seize power for themselves. Their champion for the Emperor's throne is the Lady Magritta. Thanks to the unseen influence of free traders throughout the Empire, all the minor electors were persuaded to support the Lady Magritta's claim. It was only the Grand Theogenist's refusal to crown her that denied Marienburg the throne driving a wedge between the City of Gold and the Temple of Sigma. War bands sent to Mordheim are sumptuously dressed and armed. Though Marienburgers are often ridiculed as foppish and effete, their skills at arm and complete ruthlessness has earned them a grudging respect. Their chief skills lie in dueling, and in the use of poisons and other clandestine fighting methods. Richer individuals dress flamboyantly and wear jewelry. However, the bulk of most warbands are recruited from the Dockland thugs, ship crews and stewdoers who favor a simpler appearance. Leather coats, bandanas and short swords that are easy to conceal. Money talks. <laughs> hey folks, my name is Leif and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel called Devs and Dice, where I paint miniatures or craft terrain for the tabletop. Today I'm going to show you what steps I took to find, assemble, paint, and plan out my Marienburg Warband for Mordheim. And as usual, I'm going to show off the end result on my Mordheim board with some closing thoughts. Before we get into it, I want to ask you a small favor. If you like the content I make, then please consider subscribing. It's a small click for you, but it means a lot for the channel. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Starting with printable minis, we have Reptilian Overlords, Highland Miniatures, and my favorites, the Victus. But for this one, I had a bunch of Games Workshop Empire State Troops, Empire Great Swords, and Empire Crossbowmen. My thinking was, for the henchmen, I was going to use Ghost Archipelago as my ship crewman. Another option is, of course, the Frostgrave Soldiers. Personally, I think they look like they're a little bit too cold. I even had some Perry miniatures, which I thought about using. I knew I wanted someone that looked pudgy, and for that, I went with a Blood Bowl kit, specifically the Bergenhofen Barons. Now I don't have a lot of experience in kit bashing, but I started out quite easy and removed any decorations on his chest plate. And then I glued him in a stomach first Steven Seagal pose to his legs. And it went fairly well, I have to say. I got so inspired and also because I wanted to have lots of swordsmen, I did quite a lot of my own kit bashing swords using some of the sprues actually, which went surprisingly well. In almost no time I had the entire war band ready to be primed, using my airbrush and Vallejo black primer. So here he is, my Grand Mercenary Captain from Games Workshop. Two champions that look uh, stylish as ever. And a couple of douchebag looking young blouts. 
And then here we have my chosen poison, five swordsmen, and these are from the Frostgrave kits, and the same thing with the marksmen. And here I went with bows, and I'm going to touch on why I went with bows a little bit later on. The color scheme was laid out on my wet palette, and looking at the lore, Marienburgers are quite flamboyant, but they have a set of colors, which is red, yellow, and blue. So I thought about all kinds of crazy combinations in order to make them look properly noble, I guess. However, the ship's crewmen, they were much more simplistic in their style, as the intro sequence suggested, right? I think they look quite nice. So on to actually specifying what my starting Marienburg warband will look like. Well, I've already done one human mercenary warband, so we know that there is no magic to speak of when it comes to uh, the human mercenaries. That being said, the Marienburg warband does have one uh, superpower, and that is that they can actually buy units for 600 gold instead of 500 gold. My recommendation, almost always, is to try to max out the amount of heroes that you have in your warband, which consists of one captain, two champions, and two young blood, to enable me to have five dice when rolling for exploration. I thought long and hard about should I have any warriors in my warband, but I am sorry, I don't like the warriors, or it's not that I don't like them, it's just that the swordsmen are much better because of the expert swordsman special rule, and I decided to go with that together with two marksmen from the start. This means that I have spent 390 of 600 gold coins, so to me that felt like a good balance between buying equipment and buying units. The reason I went with bows instead of crossbows was simply because I wanted my marksmen to be able to move and shoot. And there they are, my starting Marienburg warband. While we watch myself assembling my board, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to my dear patrons for their support. A special shout out goes to my champion and legend level patrons. Agrisomnia, Ariel, Akasen27, Andreas Wienberg, Arjen Angenent, Bo Algrian. Fredrik Kiersgaard Lund, Ian Patterson, Jason Chastain, Lawrence Davis, Mad Nurse, Magnus Solberg, Teddy Urban, Battle Corgi V7, welcome back by the way, Marc Antoine Laramie, Niklas Wienerlin, and Oliver Grondor. Thank you so much, guys. You are awesome. So, I am elated that I have done another warband, and the Marienburgers, which I have to be honest, I was a little bit unsure whether I liked Marienburgers or not, but the fact of the matter is, as I went through the process of kit bashing them, they became more personal for me. These were my miniatures, and I wonder if something within me awoke. A desire to actually not make my own miniatures, but at least put a little bit more personality into it. Regardless, I like how these turned out, and I can really recommend if you can still get any of the Games Workshop or Frostgrave kits. Those are awesome for the human mercenary warbands. I want to thank you so much for watching the video so far. If you want to watch more of my videos, then YouTube recommends that you should be watching this. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video.